Well, it was a chilly start to our Saturday morning, but it's a good day to get some things done. You see a little bit of frost there on the grass behind the Tryon Palace. But like I said, before the storm tomorrow, you certainly want to kind of prepare, especially if you live along the coast. We have a lot of decorations out, inflatables. Don't want to see any flying Santas around tomorrow. So uh, certainly try to deflate them or secure any objects here today. We see just increasing clouds. Highs today will be near 60 and a few sprinkles possible along the coast this evening ahead of that storm. But again, the real rain doesn't arrive until tomorrow. Low highs will be in the low 60s, a few degrees warmer than yesterday, warmer than where we should be. So we'll take it nice little day before the heavy rain arrives tomorrow. Clouds increase tonight. It will be a chilly start tonight, but then temps will increase after midnight and we'll be waking up more so near 60 tomorrow morning. Again, lows will be around midnight here and then light spotty showers start to sneak in with better rainfall arriving for our Sunday morning. The low right now is in smack dab central. Gulf of Mexico here with rain already on the eastern side of it, and then that will continue to impact Florida with tropical storm force conditions tonight into tomorrow. And as it lifts north again, we start to see that shield of rainfall arrive for our Sunday. Our biggest concerns will be the wind associated with this, especially as it nears by Sunday evening. That will allow for a many marine impacts, coastal flooding, ocean, over, ocean overwash and very rough seas. The flood potential from the rain we can handle a good two inches of rainfall, but it's more the higher rain totals and the repeated heavy rain that some places may see that could lead to ponding of the roadways. The severe threat is low, but we can't rule out a brief spin up tornado or uh, some rumbles of thunder here. So we'll break down the timing here by the mid morning. I think most of us are under good moderate rainfall with heavy rainfall possible Onslow, Duplin County, Jones County, down East Carteret as that heavy rain will continue throughout the afternoon and evening will be a wet and windy end to the weekend. And it is the wind with the persistent onshore flow that will be continuing, especially as we head into Sunday evening as that low nears that will bring all those coastal impacts and Sunday evening as well as when we could see some of those rumbles of thunder by Monday morning. That low will move ashore, weaken and lift, which will swing the winds around. So the impacts kind of linger into Monday morning. Still some rain around heavy showers possible, but it's more so the wind that will then back up the water on the south side of Highway 12. Again, two inches I think will be a popular number, but two to four inches easily possible, even greater in local spots. So that's going to lead to some isolated ponding on the roadways. 40 to 60 plus miles per hour wind. This is over tropical storm force wind gusts that we could see along the coast, to, coast tomorrow. So again, power outages possible, a few of them, and even again, damaging wind gusts possible. Even inland, you want to secure that down as well. But it's the persistence that will back up some of the rivers and sounds, and that we, we have a uh, coastal flood advisory and warnings and watches across the region. Greatest area will be the Pamlico Sound, uh, Pungo River counties, coastal coast, also under that moderate potential of two to four feet of inundation. So certainly watch out for that tomorrow. By tomorrow evening is when we'll see the height of the impacts gradually decreasing throughout the day on Monday. And then it's going to be a very chilly next week, next week.